the Beauty and the Bloodshed Review, a documentary film about the career of American artist Nan Golding, the AIDS and opioid epidemic, and the fall of the Sackler family. The film is produced, co-edited, and directed by Laura Poitras, who has won an Oscar for the Edward Snowden documentary, Citizen Four. Nan Golding declared war on one of the richest and powerful families in America, the Sackler family. Owners of Purdue Pharma, however, their wealth comes from one product, Oxycontin. The pill is stronger than morphine and sparked the opioid crisis that's now killing more than 100 people a day in America and has spawned millions of addicts. They admitted to misbranding in 2007 in a criminal case after several lawsuits alleging ongoing deception. Purdue Pharma pleaded guilty to federal felony charges that the company misled regulators, doctors and patients about Oxycontin's risk of addiction and abuse. Sackler family members were not charged. Facing about 3,000 lawsuits, Purdue filed for bankruptcy in 2019, but not before Sackler family members took more than 10 billion dollars from their company over the course of a decade. The family insists on civil liability protection, however, which would essentially mean they can never be sued in civil courts over opioids ever again. A moment for me that really brought me to tears was during the bankruptcy trial, where many members of the Sackler family are present on the Zoom call and also many victims of the opioid crisis. David Sackler, Richard Sackler and Teresa Sackler listened and watched during the roughly two hour long hearing as people described surviving addiction and spoke of losing loved ones to the epidemic. One moment during this call, they play a 911 call where a mother is asking for help because her son is in extreme pain and close to overdoses. The call is excruciating to hear. The screams do not sound human. It's like nothing I have ever heard before. I do not know anyone personally who has struggled with drug abuse. I have read and watched documentaries about drug abuse, but have never heard such horrific screams of pure pain in my life. I couldn't help but cry. The Sackler family, in comparison during this whole call, didn't even flinch. They didn't change the expression, not once. Are these people even human? This film is essential for anyone interested in art and activism, even if it may leave your blood curling with how unjust the world works. Thanks for listening and see you on the next one. Bye!